On September 16, 1920, a devastating explosion rocked Wall Street, leaving the nation's financial center in ruins. In this video, we uncover the never-solved mystery behind the bombing through rare pictures and eyewitness accounts. As hundreds of Wall Street workers headed out for lunch, a horse-drawn wagon parked in front of J.P. Morgan Bank, the world's most powerful banking institution. Little did they know, this seemingly innocent wagon was about to unleash chaos and destruction. Inside the wagon, a deadly combination of 100 pounds of dynamite and 500 pounds of heavy cast iron sash weights awaited its timer set detonation. The blast was so powerful that it turned the bustling financial district into a horrific war zone. The explosion claimed the lives of 38 people and left hundreds more seriously injured. The streets were filled with smoke, shattered glass, debris, and bodies. The noise was heard throughout Lower Manhattan and even across the East River in Brooklyn. Among the victims was William Joyce, the chief clerk of J.P. Morgan, who had been seated near the front window. Junius Morgan, a son of J.P. Morgan Jr., was also wounded in the attack. The New York Stock Exchange, just across the street, was forced to close immediately. In the aftermath of the bombing, investigators faced a daunting task. The damage was cleaned up overnight, erasing crucial physical evidence that could have helped identify the perpetrator. But the authorities were determined to find answers. Conspiracy theories swirled, but the New York police and fire departments, the Bureau of Investigation, and the U.S. Secret Service were relentless in their pursuit of the truth. They interviewed hundreds of witnesses and followed every lead, but progress was slow. The few recollections of the driver and wagon were vague and unhelpful. The NYPD managed to reconstruct the bomb and its fuse mechanism, but the nature of the explosive remained a subject of debate. All the potential components were easily accessible. With no one claiming responsibility for the bombing, the police considered various motives. The assassination of J.P. Morgan Jr. was ruled out, as he was in Europe at the time. Another theory suggested an attempt to rob the adjacent sub-treasury building, which held $900 million in gold bars. Ultimately, it was concluded that the bombing was an act of terrorism carried out by anarchists and communist sympathizers known as Reds. These radicals sought to shatter the symbols of American capitalism and instill fear in the hearts of the people. Evidence supporting this theory was found in a stack of anarchist flyers discovered in a mailbox near Wall Street. Suspicion fell on political radicals, particularly Italians, Russians, and Jews. One man, Italian anarchist Mario Buda, emerged as a prime suspect. Buddha, an associate of Sacco and Vanzetti, was believed to have planted the bomb as an act of revenge for the arrest and indictment of his fellow Galleonists. The Secret Service and the FBI interrogated thousands of people and made numerous arrests, but no one was ever charged with the crime. The investigation into the Wall Street bombing was eventually dropped in 1940, leaving the case unsolved. To this day, no memorial stands to commemorate the lives lost in the attack, and the damaged facade of 23 Wall Street remains unrepaired.